uh, apartment. We're going to go easy today. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, do the best you can. And don't do anything that doesn't feel right to you. And, uh, like I said, we're going to start really, really easy. So, reach the arms all the way out. We're going to rotate at the wrists. We're going to draw the breath in and out through the nose for the entirety of the hour that we're here. Alright, nice opposite direction with the hands. Excellent. Push the walls all the way out. Pull the fingers back. Let the shoulders come down. Pull the navel a little bit into the spine. And again and always we're drawing the breath in through the nose and out through the nose. See, I'm just getting over a cold so it's a little bit hard. So if you got to do it with the mouth that's fine. But just long breathing, conscious breathing. Good. Arms down. So put your right hand down. Reach the left arm up and over, and then look along the uh, elbow to the ceiling. And then go ahead and switch sides. So left hand down and right arm up and over. Good. Back to center. Let's uh, stand. So, feet together, big toes touching, ankles a little bit apart, and we're going to move with the breath. And it's just going to be some forward folds and a little connectivity with the breath and the movement. So go ahead, breathe in, reach up and look up. Breathe out, fold all the way down, fingers low. Low as they get, you want to just keep them there and then take a look up. Good. Forward fold again, and then come all the way back up, reaching out, reaching up, looking up. We're going to come all the way down through the heart center, pushing into the earth, and circle all the way back up again, breath in. Breathing out, folding all the way back down, fingers low. We look up, lengthen the tail through the eyeballs, forward fold again, all the way back up, reaching out <coughs> and up. Down through the heart center again, we push into the earth, we circle all the way back up, breath in, breathing out, we fold all the way back down, fingers low, we look up, tail through the eyes, forward fold, we're going to do a couple more, all the way back up, reaching out, reaching up, looking up, down through the heart center, push into the earth, circle back up, we breathe in through the nose, Breathing out, we fold all the way back down, fingers low. We look up, we forward fold. Let's come all the way back up, reaching out, reaching up, looking up. And then let's just bring the arms uh, right down at the sides. Nice. So uh, we're going to move and we're going to do a little bit more work. So we're going to breathe in and reach up again, looking up. We're going to breathe out and fold down again, fingers low. And we're going to look up, and then we're going to step back to the top of a push-up. So right here, we're going to stay here. You want to tighten your gut. You want to tighten your legs a little bit. And we're still breathing in and out through the nose. And we're going to hang here just for a couple breaths. We're going to do a couple of each of the sun salutations, but not a ton today. So take a breath in. As you breathe out, if it's possible, lower down and hover two inches. If not possible, you can hit the ground. But either way... You want to roll a bit forward as you come into up dog and clench the legs. So you see the toes, they're pointing straight back. Maybe look up a bit and then down dog. You tuck the toes and then we'll pedal the feet out. Just kind of walking back and forth in place. So the feet are two fists apart. And 
See, I'm looking to talk to you, but you're looking at your feet. And they're moving a bit. Good. Step or hop to the top of the mat. See if the legs will go straight and look up. Forward fold. Come all the way back up, reaching out, reaching up, looking up. And then again, arms right down at the sides. So uh, we're just going to do uh, one more of these today. Breathe in, reach up and look up. Breathe out and fold all the way down, fingers low. We look up and we step back again to the top. <clears throat> Push up, everything's tight. Tight in the gut, tight in the legs. Lower down if possible, hover. Up dog, we roll a bit forward. And down dog, pulling up and back. So, hands at the distance of the shoulders, middle fingers straight forward, hands are open wide, maybe gripping the mat a little bit. We're trying to push the heels down, it doesn't mean they'll get there. And we're just going to take a couple breaths right here. Good. Again, step or hop, top of the mat, we look up, we forward fold, we come all the way back up, reaching out, reaching up, looking up, and then good. Again, arms right down at the sides. So, second section of the sun salutations. Again, big toes together. So you see the ankles are just enough apart and maybe get a finger in there, but the feet are together. We're gonna let the knees fall together as we sit in chair. So sitting and reaching, you can see here. Straight up the back if you can, like a straight line here. Good, we come up and over. It's the same, folding down, fingers low. We look up. We step back again, top of push-up, everything tight, lower down, up dog, and down dog. Good. We're going to do warrior one, right foot steps up, a little bit over to the right, almost like you're kicking the wrist, left foot turns out flat in the back, and we reach up. The knee is over the ankle. If you're tight, back in through here, we're going to reach the left arm forward, trying to turn the shoulder forward. And then we touch the sky again, hands back down, step back, lower, or just drop, up dog, and down dog, and left side, left foot steps, right foot turns out, we come all the way back up, and again, sometimes there's a bit of tension on the side, reach that right arm forward, see if you can turn the shoulder in, the knee is over the ankle, good, hands back down, Step back again, lower down, up dog, and down dog. Down dog is a good place to rest if you want to. Just sneak the knees down, take a break anytime. Otherwise, we're breathing. We'll stay here a little bit longer. Good, step hop, top of the mat. We look up, we forward fold. Where we began, we end, we sit in chair, and we stand again arms down. Great. We're just going to do one more today. Sit in chair. Good. Come all the way up, over, fold down. We look up. We step back, top of push-up. Everything tight. Lower down. Up dog. Down dog. High and wide. Right foot steps, almost like the foot is against the wrist. Left foot turns out. Heel to heel alignment. We reach back up. We look up. Push the fingers into the ceiling. Good. Hands back down. Step back again. Lower down. Up dog. And down dog. Left side. High and wide. Right foot pivots out. Back up. Hands together. Fingers push into the ceiling as we look up. And good. Hands back down. Lower down. Up dog. And down dog. And nice. Couple breaths here, and I lied, we're gonna do one more. You'll find that I do that a lot. Good, hop, top of the mat, we look up, we forward fold, we bend the legs, we sit in chair, and we stand. This is the last one, we're gonna add one extra character. Sit in chair, Come all the way up, over, fold all the way down, fingers low. We look up, we step back again, top of push-up, lower down, up dog, down dog. Warrior one again on the right, right foot steps, left foot turns out, and we reach up. 
So we're going to convert this to warrior two. Bring the hands to the heart. Try not to move the knee. Pull the hip open. Reach the arms out. So you can take a look down. You want to be heel to heel alignment. So like if there was a line, or if you're on the end of your mat, it would run through the foot to the back heel, the back foot. Just turned up a little bit. The arms come out on that same line. The hip tries to pull back on that line. Doesn't mean it'll get there. The knee over the ankle, we look at the fingers in the front, and we breathe. We'll take a couple breaths here. Good. Carve the hands, top of the mat, step back, lower down, up dog, and down dog. So, other side, left foot steps, right foot turns out. We start with warrior one. Same, we bring the hands to the heart, and we flip the hip back, we open up. Maybe look, want to be heel to heel alignment. The back foot is turned up a little bit. We look at the fingers, the spine straight up the middle, not forward, shoulders down, navel locks, we stay here. Good, cartwheel hands, top of the mat, step back, lower down, up dog, and down dog, and nice. Stay in down dog for a second. Take a few breaths there. From down dog, we step or hop again, top of the mat. We look up, we forward fold, we bend the legs and we sit in chair. And we're going to stay in chair. Feet together, knees together. Arms straight up, your back as if it was against the wall, and then bend your legs as much as you can. If you want more, come up on your toes. I'm okay. If you want the feet flat, that's great. That's what I'm doing. Or hands together in prayer, which is a Mysore style. We're going to take two more breaths here. Nice. Stand. We're going to shake the feet out a little bit if you like. We're going to take the feet apart about the distance of, uh, say, your shoulders. And then from here, we're going to grab the elbows and just hang down. <clears throat> you can let the head hang down. And you could bounce a little bit if you like. If you're going to bounce, push the breath out of your nose like a sneeze. So it's like Kabbalah Bate uh, breath. It's like half-time breath of fire. Or just hang around here. So, let's go ahead and stay in this forward fold, but we're going to take the peace fingers and slip them under the big toes with the thumb touching, and then on both sides, the toes are going to hold the uh, fingers down, and we're going to Get a grip here in a forward fold. I'm going to show you up close. So the foot grip is like this. Comes down and through on both sides and your palms would face in on both sides. Good. Let's come all the way up. Touch the ceiling again. Way, 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 way up. Get a lot of length, really, really, really up. So now we're going to take each hand and stick it under each foot from the front. Even, see how my legs are bent? My hamstrings are so tight. But like that, then we have the head come down and we're going to stay here a little bit. So you're staying in that pose. You're breathing, and when I say that pose, I mean this one. The one we just talked about. Good. Let go and stand. So, we're going to do the next section of the standing series as a, more of a pivoting, which is how they did it in uh, southern India. So, think of the uh, heel-to-heel -heel alignment that we talked about 
with uh, Warrior Two and step the feet about the distance of one of your legs apart. So, your front foot running straight forward, the line runs straight back, heel of the back foot, so your feet are like this, but on the mat, of course. This is the basic triangle. We're going to take a breath in, reach the arms out. As you breathe out, reach out. Don't just fold down, reach forward and then down. You could rest the hand on the shin, reach the left arm up. You could have palms facing out and away. You could look up. We're going to stay here a little bit. Good, come back up. This is the pivot. So, this right foot turning into 45 degrees, left foot turning straight out. So, it's the way of this direction. We have the base again, heel to heel. We take a breath in, we reach out. We got a triangle on the other side. You can reach up, you can look up, you can have palms facing out and away. Thank you for those of you that. Hit the likes, I see them up on my screen, very encouraging. We're still drawing the breath in through the nose and out through the nose, filling the body with oxygen, just breathing, but breathing deeply in the nose if you can. You want to do a uh, ujjayi breath, that's fine, restrict the throat, we're here a moment longer. Good. All the way back up. We pivot again. Left toes turn into 45, right toes out. For this next pose, I would shorten the stance a little bit, maybe like three inches. So bring that back foot in. Take the left arm, reach it out, way out, and come forward like little Superman so the chest is coming towards the ground briefly. We're going to take this left hand and place it on the shin. We're going to rotate the right arm up, trying to turn the shoulders whoosh, like a key. Very hard pose. Keep the legs straight. Do your best. We won't stay here too long. Good. Back up. So this one's cool if you want to pivot and turn the arms at the same time, we rotated the feet again. So we have the same stance, but right toes turning in, left toes out, right arm reaching forward. Right arm comes down to left shin, trying to pull this shoulder down under and through. Sometimes you can put the back of the hand here, get a bit of leverage, and we come up. Up with the left hand. We're breathing. This pose is kind of really hard, heavy in the hamstrings, especially if they're tight. We're trying to twist the internal organs here in this twist a moment longer. Good. All the way back up. So, we're doing one more. Turn the left toes in and the right toes back out. Let's start with Warrior Two. You could lengthen the stance again. So you could go back out another three inches or even slightly further. So with Warrior Two, we're going to move to uh, extended side angle. We're going to take the center of your right forearm, place it on the left knee, reaching the left arm up and over, and then looking up and seeing the ceiling. There's a lot of variations on this. You want to put the hand down and look a little forward. You want to do something else, that's fine. We're going to stay here. If you're going to keep the arm on the leg like me, you could splay the fingers or make a fist. <clears throat> Good. Back up, please. You'll have to straight this leg on the right. We're going to turn the toes in. So, point it up a little bit, left toes back out. We're going to hit warrior two on the other side. All the way up, navel pulls in, shoulders down. 
So we take the center now of the left arm, place it on the knee, right arm up and over. So, welcome to stay here. Thank you for the like. Welcome to put the hand down. If the arm is on the leg, we're looking along the uh, elbow to the ceiling. If the hand goes down, you look a little forward, my sort of style. I know a lot of you rap, that's fine. Good, and back up. The fourth pose is normally a twist, but we're going to get it in a different spot today. Turn the feet so they're basically running forward. Maybe a little bit of skewed, so we'll turn them slightly out. We're going to squat, and we're going to hold the uh, sun or the moon. And we're going to stay here for a few breaths. So stay here, I'm going to get a drink of tea. Two more breaths, drawing them in, pushing them out. Good, please stand. So, the toes were slightly turned out. Turn them in like they're running straight forward, like the outside edges of your mat. We're going to bring the arms out, and we're going to bring them behind the back. We are going to interlace the fingers back there, and push the palms together. So we're standing here. Palms are probably pushing almost against the tailbone. You can start to feel the stretch across this upper part of your body just in this pose alone with the palms pushed together. You can lift the arms slightly so you'd see them here. And just look for a moment up. Good, and when you're ready on the out breath, we're going to fold down, lifting the arms up and off the back. So please stay there. We're going to take a few breaths here. I remember a student once asked me, she says, I can't even get my arms to point straight up like yours. I'm like, well, that's great, but mine's straight up. They're supposed to come all the way over and touch the ground. So uh, good luck with that. Let's come back up just to re-stabilize everything. <clears throat> we're going to take uh, the peace fingers again. We're going to reach out a bit, and then we're going to come down, and we're going to grab the big toes. So if you can't get the big toes without bending your legs, don't bend the legs. Grab the shins or grab the ankles, and I'll come again. So that grip is its like coming all the way down, under, and through with the thumb touching. And this is the uh, grip from Astanga Yoga. So hopefully you're here or somewhere close to here. Again, you could just grab the uh, shins. It's fine. Bring the crown of the head down. Let it get long. We're not trying to touch our head to the ground. In fact, if your head touched the ground, shorten the stance. And if you're nowhere near the ground, come out further, get a little bit more. And we'll stay here again just for a couple breaths. Good. All the way back up. We'll stand. Again, you, know, you could shake it out a little bit. Again, I'm talking and doing yoga, so I'm going to have a bit of tea. We're going to balance. So, take your... Uh, we're going to stand on the left leg. So, it'll be like this. We're going to do tree. You want to lift the right leg up. you got to get it above the knee. So, if it won't go above the knee, I really like coming out in the front like this. You know, push open through here. You can have hands at the heart, or you can open all the way up. I'm going to go back so you can see me. Don't do that bouncing thing. I'm only doing that to get into frame. And we'll stay here. Good old tree. Like I said, I like it out in the front. I know a lot of you do the lock. The lock takes a little while, but once it happens, uh, it's pretty easy. So either way, we're all good. We'll take a few breaths here. And we'll do both sides, so don't get concerned about what side you're on. As long as you're on the side of good. 
<laughs> okay, uh, step it out a little bit, and we're going to go, we're doing the right side now, or whatever the opposite is for you. You know what side you did, do the opposite side. Either up with the foot, or again out in the foot, the, the foot in the front, it's kind of safer, and ultimately this is a modification of a pose that is a lotus pose, which we're not doing, so out in the front is great. Hands of the heart, all the way up if you like. My head's not in frame, but you don't need to see that. Anyways, here we are the same, and we're going to hang out here for a little bit. Nice, let it down, step it out, run around a little bit if you like. So we're going to go uh, one more uh, balancing pose, standing on the left foot. We're going to lift the right leg. We're going to grab the right leg with the left hand, right hand on the hip. So you could just stay here, just kind of looking forward. Now if you want to get a little bit more twist action happening, you could reach the right arm back makes things a little more difficult. You could also look back, and those of you that want to take that peace finger grip and come down and grab the big toe, I'm not doing it, but you could extend the leg. So we'll stay here, just for a few breaths, like we did on everything. Good, let it out. Step it out a little bit if you like it loose. I don't know if other people do this or not, but I do it. Uh, standing now on the left, we lift the uh, left leg. Right hand comes across. You could stay right here. So you're looking at the uh, image. We're looking at each other. It's about the same, straightforward with the chest. Again, if you want the more, the hand goes back. We look back. Good, I'm going to go back a little further so you can see me. And a couple more breaths here, just two more. Nice. Step it out. Let's come down and do a squat. <clears throat> Squatting is great, maybe better than a lot of other poses. So those of you that like, can just squat. And the other pose is a lot of fun, but squatting, I can already feel it stretching my lower back a little bit, stretching the knees a little bit. It's a very natural posture that we've kind of got out of doing. Um, but I'm going to walk you through crow, which you don't have to do. I'd say squat's a better pose. But for crow, we'll go kind of slow. That's as much as I'm going to rhyme today. Put the hands down. You see the hands are flat. We're going to come up onto the toes, lifting up. We're putting the, the shin on the back of the arm, almost about, if you had a t-shirt on, about three inches from where it would end. And we come forward onto the toes. So you're putting a lot of weight on the arms, and then you take one toe off, and then maybe you take the other toe off. See what you get. Or just hang out in the squat. We're going to take a few more moments here. So whichever you want to do, take your time with it, mess with it. You can go pretty easily from a crow to headstand if you know how to do that. Go ahead and do it. I'll demo it for you, but I don't encourage this. It's up to you. It's tripod headstand. But as I said, all that's a lot of fun. The squat's a better pose. Let's come to hands and knees. From hands and knees, we want the knees two fists apart. The shoulder above the wrist with the fingers pointing forward. We're going to do the cat and the cow. Let the belly fall down as you look up. As you breathe out, arch the back. And we're going to just go uh, up and down like someone has a string right here. And they're pulling up and pulling down, pulling up and releasing.
about 10 more seconds of this. I'm not used to uh, doing the poses and talking the poses. In my Sur India, the teacher doesn't demonstrate. He walks around and moves and pushes and pulls the uh, students, which is kind of a little bit more how I normally do it. But this is fun, a good test of my ability to improvise. Good. Back to center. Uh, look over the right shoulder and try to see your tail. And then we'll come around and we'll look over the left shoulder and try to see the tail there. Good. Back to center. Step the right foot to the top of the mat. Keep the knee down. If you're on like a hardwood surface and it hurts your knee, double up some of the mat. You want to keep the knee over the ankle and we're going to reach the arms all the way up. Let your hips hang down into the ground. We're trying to bring the knees a decent amount apart. You could open the arms and look up if you like. Take your left elbow. Don't move this leg at all. Make it like cement. Swing that elbow all the way to the outside. So you'll see here, hands come in prayer, pull towards the body. You see as the, the elbows open apart, the right elbow points up, and then you can look up. You're welcome to roll back on the ball of the back foot. You're welcome to arm, open the arms. You're welcome to stay right here. We're going to hold this a little bit longer. Think about it. You're twisting, you're squeezing the digestive system, helping, we're squeezing out the old garbage. Good, back to center. Uh, in Astanga Yoga, step the leg back, we're going to do the other side. They are obsessed with a, a, a fuel-efficient digestive system. Step the left foot up, so same as we did on the other side. You can see it here sideways, bringing the uh, knee a bit back. And we reach up again, so the arms can be all the way out, but your chest is shooting forward. Allow the hips to hang down. Everyone wants direct hip stretching, but this is indirect hip stretching, which a lot of the poses are actually doing. So just hang into it, let the hips hang down. Good, so right elbow, again, outside of the knee, hands in prayer, you see uh, they come together, turn the fingers up towards your face, and then maybe look up. I'm going to stay here a little bit, so please stay in the pose. And also stay in the breath. Excellent. So, hands back down, step back to tabletop again. <clears throat> We're going to do a tiny bit of uh, upper body work because we didn't do a lot of sun salutations at the uh, beginning. These are optional, so you're at plank right now. If you're not, jump on into plank. The first one is uh, somewhat mandatory. Two and three are up to you. So, number one, come down, up dog. And down dog. Number two, up to you. Roll forward, top of push up. Down, up, and down. Number three, come along, top of push up. Roll down, up, and down. Good. Let's sit down. So we're going to get the hips directly. I know a lot of times we do pigeon there, but we're going to do uh, some hip stuff later. So extend the legs out, straight out in front of you. Same feet together like when we were standing. We're going to do dynamic forward folding. I do this quite a bit uh, in my classes. On the out breath, we fold down, then we come back up, new breath in. So breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in 
and breathe out. So, it's all in the nose, let's show it's clogged up. I know there's a lot of garbage going around. Uh, so a lot of people got uh, sinus things happening. So however you can do it. And we're going to go for about 20 more seconds. Excellent. Touch the ceiling and then hands down. So, hands down and behind you. So, you might, have, if you want to scooch a little forward, I'm just doing that for the sake of the camera. But, fingers pointing towards your feet, thumbs then are pointing towards each other almost a little bit in towards the tailbone. But you want those arms far enough back so you could almost like fall asleep here. And then we're going to look at the ceiling and lift the hips. Good. Come back down. We're going to bend the right leg. Hug it in as close as you can. I'm going to take the left arm so it's the opposite. Left arm is going to grab the right leg. The right hand right behind you, six inches out from your tailbone. Hand down, fingers that will be pointing away. We pull the shoulder back. Then the head goes with the action of the shoulder, but we're not trying to wrench the head around. Again, we're twisting. You're welcome to come to the outside. You're welcome to get wrapped around if you like. But it's okay. Just keep it easy. Just breathe. Take your time with it. Good. Come back around. So uh, we'll try this one at a different angle. Switch the legs. Right leg is out. There's the bottom of my foot clean, rarely. Pull that leg in. We're going to take the right arm, grab a hold of it. You see the foot's in pretty close here. There are other poses where it's out. We're in close. We're making a small area. Left hand now goes behind you. So left hand six inches out from the tail, finger, fingers pointing away. You hold the leg. Come to the outside. Get wrapped around. Whatever you like. Pull the shoulder back, look back. Good. Unwind again. <clears throat> so again, if you're on a really hard surface, you might want to uh, double up your mat. You don't have to, but we're going to be balancing on the tailbone. So with the legs bent, we're going to bring the arms underneath the legs. Once here, we've got to find that little balance spot so we roll back under the tail there. You'll know right away whether it's comfortable, whether you need to double up the mat or not. i got a bony butt, so normally I do that, but I'm on my nice carpeting. So. You could stay here. You could let go. When you let go, you begin to feel it in the core a bit. Core is really important. You could also straight the legs and pull the hands in prayer towards the toes. We're going to stay here for two breaths. We're going to cross the legs. We're going to come out and around and then sit up tall. Your shoulders are reaching down the back, the top of your head is reaching up. So we're trying to lengthen from the ear to the shoulder area. The resistance is the holding the hands here. <clears throat> Good. Uh, we're going to do this a few times. Back up. Your choice. One, two, or three. Two breaths from here. Good. Cross legs. Come out. Sit up tall. Shoulders down and back. Crown of the head. Tail to the crown of the head. Straight up. Looking forward. Good. Back up. Same. 
your choice. You don't have to do this one. There's three options. In fact, option four is interlace the hands uh, behind the head. I'm not doing that. Nice, cross the legs again, sit up tall again, looking straight forward. Alrighty, one more. Your choice, one, two, or three. It's in the gut, it's not in the back, it's right here, it's in the breath, probably in the legs. You want that fourth one behind the head, that's up to you. Good. Hug it in. Sit up tall. So uh, the next pose is the one where we probably have the most because we're not up and we can't see the demo and it's a lot of information. If you want to watch me, do one first and then we'll go through the others. So we're going to thread the needle. So you got to lay back. You're going to take the right leg up and over. You feed the right hand through or grab the shin. So I'll talk you through it now and we'll get into each side, but I wanted you to see it while you were still uh, sitting up. So, we all lay down. The feet and knees are two fists apart. Maybe you could touch the uh, heels with the longest finger. Not as important on this pose, but on the next one it will be important. We lift the right leg up. Up and over the knee, so it's on the inside towards us. We take the right hand, feed it through the legs, grabbing the left shin, and then the other hand comes around. You see how tight my hip is. Lay back as best you can. If it's too much, don't grab the shin. You get the underside of the leg a little easier, maybe. And we're just going to breathe long here and just be easy. Be like water, just melt out onto the floor. All right, we're going to switch, so unwind it, put the foot down. Left foot now comes up, up on the inside of the leg, in a little bit so you're not twisting the ankle. We take the left hand, we feed it through the legs, we grab the shin, the right hand comes around. If you can't hold the shin again, you're welcome to do the underside, and if you can, you want to lay back. And of course, you're breathing, drawing it in, pushing it out. Both directions if possible, through the nose. Alrighty. Unwind it again. Now, same, both feet down, feet and knees, two fists apart, so that much, there too. We're going to have the longest finger almost touch the heel. When you touch it, put them out a little further. We're going to lift the hips and all the way under. Bring the hands together like this and push the arms on the ground as we push the navel all the way up. We're going to stay here a little longer. Those of you that want to do Urdhva Dhanurasana are welcome to. This will be the place to do it. So stay up if you can. This is a cool little trick because the next pose we're going to do is going to be plow, halasana. If you can change the hands so that your thumbs are down under your lower back, you've got to lift a little higher. You can kick up and over and switch into plow. You can put the hands together and interlace the fingers. Otherwise, I'll talk you through it. So, if you're going to just come out of bridge, come down, and then we're going to kick the feet up and over the head, putting the hands on the lower back or interlacing the fingers with the arms down and uh, we're going to stay here just for a couple breaths and plow. I'll get there with you in a moment but hopefully you're already there. 
So maybe your feet will touch the ground, maybe they won't, it doesn't matter. We're transitioning anyways. If the hands are not on your back, put them there now and lift the feet straight up into the sky. So you're going to stay and I'm going to talk to you about the pose. The weight is in the shoulders in shoulder stand, so we all should be doing shoulder stand. You're welcome to skip the upside down stuff. If you can get your hand in shoulder stand so it's the thumb in the front and the forefinger in the back, the hip bone sits right into that piece like a puzzle. Nice foundation. So you can sit the weight on your elbows, you can sit the weight on your shoulders because we don't want to have too much weight on the head. We want it kind of light as possible. In fact, if there's a lot of weight on your head, I'm going to give you a couple of options to get out of it. Number one is to bend, coming down a little bit. Number two is to come all the way out, it puts it in the elbows. It's really heavy in the elbows, but at least it's not on your head, and that's the way they actually do it in Kundalini. We're going to stay for a couple more breaths, and again, do the best you can. Once you have that strong foundation, shoulders and elbows, allow the uh, internal organs to hang kind of free. Because, you know, we heated them from the work, and we squeezed them and twisted them, and they're normally hanging, especially the digestive system right here, the large intestine hangs down a little bit. We let it hang the opposite direction, try to get, uh, you know, anything we need to get loose, loose. So, from uh, shoulder stand, bend the legs, knees towards the ears, grab the feet, lower yourself into dead bug. So, kind of weird doing this in front of my phone. Uh, knees are in the armpits, soles of the feet are all the way up facing the ceiling. You could stay still, you could roll around, it's totally up to you. Stay a little bit longer, I want to see where we are. Okay, great. So, extend the legs, lay down all the way flat. I'll do it with you in a moment. For now, just lay on your mat totally flat. We're going to get these hamstrings one more time, because for me, they're a giant, uh, big piece of rubble that needs to be removed. So, from laying down flat, we're going to lift the right leg up. We're going to take both hands, come up close as you can get to the heel, and then bring the nose up towards the knee. We're going to stay here, breathing. And I'm doing it pretty relaxed. You're welcome to also do it relaxed. We don't need to kill this stuff. We need to do this stuff on a regular basis. Good. Let it down. So, other side. Left leg up, both hands come up, then the nose comes up. Same situation. The action is in trying to hold your uh, right leg down. Good. Put it all back down. So, stay down. Bring your arms out like a T. So you don't need to see this. You're laying down. The arms are out like a T. Bring the knees into your chest. We're going to take a breath in. As we breathe out, we let the knees fall over to the right as we look to the left. You could take the right hand and push the knees down if you like. So we're staying, the knees, the legs are falling together out to the right, the arms are out like a T, and we're looking away from where the legs are. Very good. Come all the way back up. And we flop over to the other side with the legs. Again, if they're, not, if they're kind of apart, this left hand can push them down. We're trying to keep the shoulders flat, and we're looking away from the legs.
Come back to center. Hug the knees into your chest. Thank yourself for coming out. Tell yourself you did a good job. Believe it. And then lay down. So, final rest can be one of the most important parts of the practice. So, it's only going to be a couple minutes. And I'm going to play guitar. So, don't skip it. Lay down. Your feet are a bit apart. Maybe the distance of your uh, hips are a little wider. You're laying totally flat. The hands can be out. Palms up or down. Doesn't really matter. Let the breath return to normal if it ha hasn't. Try to sink down. And just try to really experience the uh, effects of the practice. And we're going to be here, like I said, probably less than two minutes. Well, technically you could stay there, because you're, you're at home, you can do whatever you want. But we're going to finish up this last little part together. You can wiggle the fingers and toes a little bit. You could move at the wrists and the ankles. I would definitely stretch the hands way up over the top of your head. Lengthen as long as you can on your floor. Toes to fingers and pull the uh, navel down against the mat, against the back, your back. Lengthen real good. Nice. Uh, bring the knees into your chest and then either pop up or uh, <clears throat> roll yourself up to a seated position. You don't have to uh, cross the legs harshly. 
You could just have them down, you can sit however you like. Um, bring the hands to the heart center, rub them together. You can do it like you're trying to get a little bit of fire in your hands. This is the last thing we're going to do together. It's really cool that we can connect here using uh, technology uh, on some of these rainy days. Um, I'm glad you checked in. But for a moment, anything you want to dump out here, we're going to dump it out. We can get kind of loud if you want. Depends on what your neighbor's uh, kind of relationship you have with them. But we're going to reach all the way up and out. We're going to take a breath in through the nose as much as you can get. If you can get more, even if it's through the mouth, breathe in more. We're going to hold, tightening the gut and the legs a little bit. We're going to hold for a moment. And then with the sound out through the mouth. Blah! Awesome, man. Thank you for uh, being with me here this morning. Have a great day. Uh, these classes are by donation. You can leave a donation for me at my website at leavingstressbehind.com. There is a donation button, or you can go straight to PayPal. It's daniel at leavingstressbehind.com. I will leave also a link to the website in the comments uh, so we can be inspired to keep doing this. Um, that's it. As always, you're living your dream. Don't miss it. Namaste. See you next time. Hopefully maybe I'll see you tonight.